This is for Year 8 Integrated. I'm going to show you how to um, import an image, add type to create a logo and then uh, place it on a swing tag. So first of all, we'll go to New File in Adobe Illustrator and then we go across the top here because you're doing a custom size. So the width of your swing tag is 80 millimeters and the height is 80. Before you type in the numbers, check over here and make sure that you have millimeters selected. So on that down arrow, you can click. Um, often it has pixels or points or something that's not relevant. So choose millimeters because we always work in millimeters. 80 by 80, uh, CMYK color, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, the four color printing process. And we want high resolution of 300 pixels per inch. And then we click on create. Okay, now we've got our uh, square box on our page. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to window and down to workspace and then across to essentials classic. Um, you probably just have essentials as the default showing. Essentials classic will show you um, two columns of tools in the tool palette and it will open up some other things that become quite handy as well. So the first thing that you're going to do is um, you're going to have an illustration that you have gone over with um, fine liner or marker and made completely black um, to place into your uh, swing tag. And then you're going to add type. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is look at the illustration. So we'll go file and down to place, and then you will source your file. So I have it here in tutorial. So I have a few illustrations here and I can bring in any one of those. So I'll bring the flower and then click on place. And then just click on the background. So you can see here, it's really big. So to zoom out, you click on control and minus if you have a PC and keep clicking. So you can see this little square up here, that's the page and this is the big picture. Now, when you are resizing, please make sure that you hold down the shift key and only drag from uh, a corner. So if you drag from here, it's uh, it takes it out of scale and proportion. So if you ever stuff up, just do control Z and it will take it back. Um, so I'm going to start moving it, but then I'll click on the shift key. So what that does is it maintains the scale and proportion of my image and you don't want to distort it by stretching it either way. Okay, so I'm going to place it onto my page. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of options with you. So control C, control V to paste it. Okay, now we have image trace up here, but that doesn't give you as many options. So I'm going to ask you to go to window up the top and down to image trace here. And then it brings over this panel. We have to have the image selected that we're working on. So I'm making sure it's black and white because I've imported a black and white image. I'm going to click on this arrow here for advanced and I'm going to go to ignore color down here and then click on trace and just click on OK. And so see now it's converted it to a black and white image. Now if I take that off the page, you can see there that it has um, removed the white background as well, which is good if I just want to have um, a plain image, uh, but it's not good if I want to color in the center bits. I can fix it, there are ways, but um, so after we've done the image trace and we've clicked on the trace, then we go to object and then down to expand and just click on OK. So now you can see there's blue lines around it. So what that has done is it's changed that image into a shape that now you can change the color of and play around with. So now this selection tool up in the top palette. So this is a selection tool that selects my whole image. Uh, this direct selection tool, I can just select components of the image. So I'm going to click and drag over this bit here that I don't need. And with the backspace key, just hit delete. And now I've got my image here. So that's one way of doing it. The next way is I have my picture here. Uh, I go to, uh, into image trace again, but I don't click on ignore white and then I go trace. So I go OK, so that will again turn it to black and white. And then I'll go object, expand again, so that will make it into shapes. And then 
Uh, so with the direct selection tool, I'm going to click on this white background here because I want to get rid of that. I always click when I'm deleting in Illustrator twice. So that will remove everything. Then I'll click and drag down here to remove that unwanted imagery. Now, if I take this off, you'll see the difference. So now that's filled in a white color. So what I could do is I could click on the white and then I can go select same fill color. So then it will select uh, all of the white everywhere on the page and then I can select another color. So for example, uh, I could make it something like this. Now, if this happens where your color goes gray, then we go window down to color and over here in that we just change it from grayscale down to CMYK. So then you have a color. And if you wanted to change the inside of the flower, the direct selection tool. So what I would do is I would click on the first shape. It can get a bit fiddly. Hold down the shift key. Holding down the shift key means you're adding to your selection. So keeping the shift key held down, keep selecting these shapes. Don't click on the black bit or you'll select that as well. And then we select this one finally. And then double click on here. And then we can go for a color for the center. So uh, there's another option for you. Or if you have this flower over here, you can just simply double click on the black and choose a color. And once again, that's gone gray. So my color palette is still open. So I just click on the paper file. I call it up here and change it to CMYK. And that will give me my color option. I don't know why it, do, it does that. It sometimes does it by default. So now you have your picture. So you can play around with the size of it. Remember when you're resizing it, hold down the shift key. Um, now you're going to, uh, you might give it your name. So I'll just give it my name for your logo. And the same with resizing. So there's a couple of ways to resize. You can go up here to click on character. And then you can change the point size here. Um, or you can do the same again where you select the box and you hold down the shift key. Please don't distort type. You do need to hold down the shift key when you do that. Um, okay, so then you've got your name there. And so you can change the color of that exactly the same way. So double click, choose a color, um, and you have that. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I do need to add a circle um, to indicate where the punch hole will go for the swing tag. So I can't have my type too high up here. So where in the tool palette where you see the rectangle box, click on there and hold it down and then slide down to the ellipse tool. Just click on the background and type in five by, and then five. That's millimeters. Uh, make sure that we just have a an outline, not a fill. So down here, this is the fill and this is the outline. Uh, usually I'd make it black, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and then I'm going to put it here. The next thing I would do, I click and drag with my selection key over both of these. And I would click up the top here, you've got the horizontal align center tool. So that centers um, the circle and my name within the page. Lastly, go back to your tool over here and select the rectangle tool. Click on the background um, or you can click and drag to make the size. But we know that the size of our box is 80. So we'll type in 80 and then 80 again. Now that gives me um, a color. So over here, I'm going to fill it. So see, there's no fill there. So I'll just click this arrow and that will switch it around. I could have that color in the background um, or I could choose another color. So maybe if I get my eyedropper tool, I want to get that color. Uh, then the next thing that's going to happen is Illustrator works in layers. So each thing that you do becomes the top layer. So if you select this sitting on top, Object, Arrange, Centre Back. 
so now you have that sitting in the back and then illustrator won't auto save for you so you do need to save your work so file save as when you save your work always give it your name and what it is so lisa has uh, swing tag for example save it as an illustrator file and save it in your integrated folder click save illustrator 2020 is all good okay 